Hello, Brother Munro here. Welcome back to Ultimate Apple Dreadnoughts. Now, eagle-eyed viewers at the end of the last episode may have noticed that I had a fleet down here, uh, which was the main battleship fleet, and I was moving this way up towards Brest. And the reason for that is that the fleet that the battle cruisers took on uh, somehow teleported to the other side of the uh, Suez Canal and ended up in the Red Sea, and then was uh, I looked at it and it was tracking back to go to Brest the long way round round the Cape so I moved the fleet to Brest as you can see them just sitting off Brest and it appears we have generated a meeting and it is not the meeting I was expecting because they have run into the 14 inch fleet well not all 14 we've got Hugo and we've got Issei in here as well um, this is the reserve fleet, and this this represents pretty much all of Spain's heavy ships, and some of them they should be a little bit damaged actually. Um, now it's probably going to be very easy for me to lose a lot of ships here, because those um, Spanish ships can hit and they hurt, and they have pretty thick armor, and I'm not fast enough to get away. So this could go extremely badly. Um, we will just have to see how it goes. I might actually... The divisions lately have just been chaos. Um, whether I've tried to reorganize the fleet, whether I've uh, kept them in there, whatever they were, turned the void off. Ships have been doing all sorts of weird things, and it's taken ages to get the ships... Um, Organized, and we don't have time in these kind of fleet engagements. <laughs> so, what I'm actually going to do is all ships are going to break formation, and we're going to go individual with the avoid mechanic switched off. And this is very micro heavy, but I don't really see another option. There we go. Yes, some of them are damaged. Okie dokie. And we're going to try and form some form of line. Which is going to be absolute chaos. But, um... Yeah, why not? Nice to see these ships back. Particularly... Issei and Satsuma. Where is she? She's in here somewhere. Oh, there is a Satsuma. Say. Yeah, here she is at the back, Hugo. So it's very nice to see these ships back in action. Who knows? Maybe, just maybe, we can uh, avoid any casualties here. I'm not counting on it. And we're going to mark their capitals. I want one on each of them. And the rest of you can pick your targets as needed so that we do have some fire going out onto small ships as well. Just 
going to be an awfully big load of shells going in both directions. <laughs> Our shells heading home now, including a massive hit. Main deck pin there. Oh, look at that. Ammo deck. Main deck pin again. Oh, he sunk one. Very nice. Opening salvo, pretty much. Sinks a ship. That's not bad. And what are they up to? Who knows? Apologies for the washing machine in the background. Consider it atmosphere. Uh, I don't get a choice when I record. Well, I do, but um, for those of you who aren't aware, I have uh, long COVID, which means I really don't have much energy, and I tend to use it in the mornings to make sure that I have, you know, good uh, episodes. So I have a little bit of energy when I record. Um, and then if I feel well enough, I stream in the afternoons. But of course, the washing machines get put on just as everyone else leaves for school and work. And uh, it means it's odd when I'm recording a lot of the time. Oh. Yeah, this is going okay. Focusing on Issei, who I'm immediately going to withdraw. Okay, we sunk another one. It's more firepower reduction. Come on. Yeah, another ship goes down. I think that's the three battleships. They were already pretty badly hurt by the Ontakis. We can remove those 13 and a half inch guns as well. We will be in a good place. Small vessel, some sort, light cruiser, probably. Heavy, heavy damage there. These ships in the back, cruisers, heavy cruisers. cruiser as well. How's Issei doing? Oh, she's okay. Oh, you're not. Ow. Ooh. Ship sinks. Yep, yeah, it's the other light ship that was on the advance. And goes that battle cruiser. Oh, 
Okay. Starting to get a bit more optimistic here. Oh gosh, here, yeah, yeah. I didn't realize you'd taken all that damage. Both battle yeah, they are. Both of these are battle cruisers. They're pretty beaten up, though. And once I don't mind my ships attacking the small ships because they are a torpedo threat. Only one left in that squadron. Oh, big hit. Not a big, big hit. Yeah, that one goes down, and so does the last ship remaining over there. Like they're moving up to this squadron. Oh, I think there's a this. I think this is the last battle cruiser. Get him. Those cruisers are just melting, though. Look at that. Just devastation. This is a short battle as well. Japanese fleet eager for revenge. goes the last capital ship and now there's just a couple of unfortunate light cruisers probably light cruisers
got him. And I think that has pretty much put an end to the Spanish fleet. Um, three battleships, five battle cruisers. Not the, not the whole thing, but I think that's all. That was their remaining capital ship fleet. Six heavy cruisers, three lights, and two destroyers. We will, however, check, and we have lost none. Now, if you put this together with the battle from the previous episode, I think that puts us out ahead. <laughs> um, yeah, far out damaging this pretty exhausted uh, Spanish fleet and uh, sending them to the bottom. Well, I can't immediately check on... <laughs> Can't immediately check on that because the Ontaki, who I brought over from Sunderland, has found three light cruisers to bully. Uh, that seems spectacularly unfair, um, given that the Ontaki's, well, apart from torpedoes, like even if I turn the main guns off, the Ontaki would have a decent chance here because she does have those six inches. Um, and very heavy armor for a light cruiser to deal with. Nicely done. I mean, top range, by the way. Yes. One more salvo and then turn, please. There we go. Let's get the six inch guns involved. Switch to high explosive. Yep, oh, there are the torpedoes. Miss again. That didn't. running away. Apparently not. Fine by me. Yeah, 
that was kind of what I expected. Savage. Most of that from fires. No, not all of it. They hit a couple of the two-inch guns, I think. With the, but uh, yeah. Right, Spain. <laughs> How's your fleet look? Okay, Spain has a battleship, twenty-three light cruisers, uh, twenty-three heavy cruisers. Sorry, thirty-six light cruisers, forty-one destroyers. So they do have a sizable fleet remaining, but um, yeah. Uh, is anyone else looking like they're going to come in against us anytime soon? No, but if the Soviets and the Italians come in against the Spanish as well, that would be excellent. We're going to uh, continue the war, though. Um, I'm going to look for choice battles. That is not a choice battle. Neither is that. Um, try and get uh, things going again. We do have them blockaded. Where is that battleship? I wonder if we could hunt it down down and remove it. I can't see any there. Uh, there is the old Spanish fleet moving around. Not actually sure where most of their forces are. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure where they're hiding all of those cruisers. I don't see a big concentration anywhere. Maybe I'm just missing it. Anyway, I'm going to shuffle the main fleet down here to close the Straits of Gibraltar because that's just amusing. And I guess I guess that's gonna be it. For now, anyway. Um oh, I'm also gonna move this cruiser to Gibraltar. Oh no, she's in, in a battle, can't do that. Somewhere from somewhere unengaged yet there. You can move to Gibraltar, you too. Okay. Uh, yes, yeah, so I'll be back when there is something to report on. Well, seems they don't want the uh, Tayo taking up her position. Uh, they sent a cruiser squadron to intercept, so we might as well uh, greet them. Ah, uh, yes, I am looking forward to the new hulls. We have been told that at 1.5 we will be getting new British light cruiser mounts, maybe like those town class gun mounts. That would be amazing. Really love to see that. Um, I, I'm probably not going to do any like big coverage of 1.5 because it's just new hulls. But what I will show... Uh, I think, and keep an eye out for it, I might do a cheeky little stream uh, looking at the new hulls and making shared designs for them for the Dreadnought Improvement Project ship pack. And if you don't know about the ship pack, and you're using the Dreadnought Improvement Project mod, um, then what it is is a collection of, I think it's about 800 at the moment, Shared designs, some are by me, some are by members of my channel community, um, that the AI can use either just to base its own designs off or to uh, actually use the designs directly. And it really helps with the quality of the AI's designs, but it also helps with loading times on custom battles, uh, turn times in the campaign, things like that. So it, it's pretty handy. Right, you guys are actually like you to target the light cruiser. Smoke. Let the uh, heavy cruiser deal with the enemy heavy cruiser.
and uh, fire torps. So I'm sure they're going to be firing theirs. And we can do a donut. We got him! Nice! Was not expecting a torpedo hit. Oh, well, there's a bonus. some AP shells on them. Take it. Yeah. Here's the stuff. Oh wow, he sunk him. Okay, was not expecting that. Uh, pleasantly surprised. Tradizian Tango! Castilla! Gone. Nine inch guns. Blasting out of bits. It would be nice if we don't lose the 2987, but I think we're going to. And the Ferrolano. Well, it's a shame to lose a destroyer, but eh. <laughs> right, Spain, how's your fleet looking? Okay, they're building like crazy. But look at this, the naval funds are actually depleting. I think. It's hard to tell. I mean, naval funds are so ridiculous for everybody, but... Um, I think these are slowly getting depleted. Hmm. So many numbers. It's actually hard to make sense of them. Um, anyway, we have quite a lot of battles potentially here. That one's a no. Maybe. I don't. Hmm. That one might be worth doing because there are 10 transports. That one's also probably worth doing. That one's definitely worth doing. So is that one. And that one's a no. So not this one or that one. So neither of the battles. <laughs> but I will do the four convoys. Let's start with this one. Haguro against San Cristobal. <sighs> so yes, what was I? I was talking about something. Yeah, 
<laughs> I will probably do a little Ultimate Emerald Dreadnought stream. I don't do them often. It'll be on both YouTube and Twitch, by the way, um, when 1.5 comes out, so I can have a look at the have a look at the new hulls and gun models. And uh, don't worry if you cannot be there whenever that happens, because as I said, one of the really cool things about streaming on YouTube is that all my previous lives are just available. So if you want to see me playing things other than Dreadnoughts, which I tend to do as a live stream, you can find an archive of all that if you have a look at previous lives, which is really handy. Right, which one's the heavy cruiser? You are one range, right? Shit, I don't think you were. Okay, target the one that was in range. It's like they're just running off. Let's try and deal with this cruiser then. Cruiser. Destroyer. Words. You know what I meant. It's proving hard to get a, a read on. those battles where I never get a hit. Oh, there's one. <laughs> Called it. <laughs> uh, yeah, once you play the game enough, you start to see the hits as they leave the gun. Which is quite funny. Gap. Yep. Thank you. General Sinks. Uh, Michioso, I'm going to send you after the transports, if that's alright. Guro can shoo away the cruiser. join in. <laughs> oh, we did hit, but it was a dud. All those torpedoes, one hit and it was a dud. Oh, dearie me. Oh, no, there was a non-dud. Another dud. Jesus.
<laughs> Goodbye, little transports. Yeah, with Spain's GDP growth being negative, hopefully hitting the transports will make it more negative. This episode will be coming out on Thursday, the 29th of February. Which means, in theory, 1.5... This might be the last episode, because 1.5... Well, it won't be the last episode, because I'm going to keep recording. But uh, it might be... You might be thinking, hang on, 1.5 is out. Um, that means the campaign's going to end immediately. Uh, no. No. Uh, once I get an inkling that 1.5 is actually coming out, I will uh, try and wrap campaign up as best I can, rather than just having it abruptly end. And I will just press OK, and I will agree to retire. <laughs> How old am I now? I must be extremely old. Because, uh, when did I start this campaign? 1900? I started in 1900. I think I did. <laughs> it's now, like, the 1970s. <laughs> so, assuming I wasn't a child when I became Admiral, um, yeah, I, uh, <laughs> I must be, like, 100 years old. I mean, people do live for a very long time in Japan. have got uh, quite a lot of centenarians. Yeah, can you switch up to high explosive for me, please? Given that we are chasing. I know you don't have too many of them left, but worth a try. Oh, this is a running away design. More guns on the back than on the front. gone into the shadow realm. Lovely. Back to AG, uh, AP. Let the ricocheting begin. Until we get close enough that they cannot ricochet the shells anymore. Yeah, 
they got enough armor to bounce this. Unless I get a superstructure part. There's no armor. They might get away. No, I have sunk the convoy. Might as well exhaust my ammunition. And then call the day. I'll see you guys on the post-battle results screen. There we go. Um, I mean, 15 transports. That's good. Right, next convoy battle. Uh, let's do this one next. Uh, it's just the four transports, but it's a lot of destroyers. Which, of course, also needs sinking. Uh... <laughs> I'm not sure why I'm so, like, going hard. I'm going pretty hard against Spain here. Um, could have had peace ages ago, but it's just fun. Mm. I, I honestly like. Um, if you if you're not playing Ultimate Admiral with a mod, you should, because it makes a ton of difference. Whether that's the Dreadnought Improvement project, or whether it is a uh, naval arms race, because, yeah, I just, I'm just having a blast. Ha! Um, <laughs> I'm having an absolute blast with the game at the moment. I'd never normally go to 1965. Um, I don't think I've long time since I played a vanilla campaign but I usually don't make it much past 1930 oh look they're firing their torpedoes <laughs> hilarious I know they will probably fix the whole what is this <laughs> concept of not shooting torpedoes at my own ships thing that's going on at the moment, but it's so funny. I kind of hope they don't. Even though I've fallen afoul of it myself, it is so, so funny. Oh, nicely done. Two of them already? Not bad. Uh, damn. Uh, didn't do that much. Hey, another one goes down. Alright, I think... We are through. Oh, 
Oh no. Still had more. <laughs> Two inch guns. Oh my god. Oh, it is a Japanese destroyer. I was using it like a Allied Nations one. Hmm. I think there's a par three. Oh, yep. Is that how you expected the engagement to go, Spain? Probably not. Got him. Ah. All the transports, all the destroyers. Lovely. <laughs> the destroyer out damaging the cruisers. Amazing. <laughs> all right. Next up, more destroyers, but they also have the Concordia um, and seven more transports. That's what, so far, 15 plus 4, 19 plus uh, 7, 16. No, 26. Yeah. Got to carry the one. 26 transports so far. Assuming I sink these ones, I think. That's a reasonable amount. <laughs> That's quite a lot. Forward. <laughs> Charge. <laughs> Seems to work on the AI a lot. Is charging them down. Don't like it. Up them. Right. That's the CL. We have incoming. Going a weird direction. Get your ass out of the way. Oh, it died. It's convenient. That is less convenient. See ya. Here we go. Right, actually, 
Could you... deal with them? But in the meantime... See if we can talk the light cruiser. Oh, I got some torpedoes on the transports. Always amusing. Cruiser, you didn't spot those, did you? Four torps. That is a dead light cruiser. What a good job. Very rare to see a torpedo strike that good. Oh, you've taken flooding. Back you go. Cruiser is uh, dealing with the transports. Transports done for. How are we doing with that last destroyer? And it might seem, dare I say, petty to hunt down lone destroyers, but it's, it's useful because it means they have less convoy protection. And that means they'll m lose more transports in the uh, kind of in between turns transport loss screen, which helps hasten their demise. No torps left on the Alcedo. Only carry one shot. Pretty cheap, these things. the shots that are going to miss I've clearly fired starboard at the target
Jeez, closing in at one knot. Hey, there we go. Decent damage. This shell lands on the torpedo launcher. Really good job keeping that ship afloat, but uh, eventually they're gonna, <laughs> they're not going to be able to keep that thing going. Lovely. Back to the map. Right, last convoy battle. Let's see if we can chalk up another ten transports. I mean, we've sunk quite a bit. Now, I don't remember what the <laughs> minus on the GDP was before I started sinking these transports, but it did show it. It was about minus two. I think it was 2.0 something. Let's see if we've changed that at all by sinking these transports, because we should have done. But uh, I don't know if it comes off the monthly or if it comes off just the total. Oh, we're starting quite far away. Interesting. Hmm. Fighter jet just flew over my house. It's, well, it's not unusual, but second time in a few days. Probably going off to intercept a strategic bomber or something. It's usually what's happening. There are all the transports, and here are the escorts. Lovely. Wonder if they're just running again. Couldn't put it past them. No, they're not. That is not the attitude of a retreating ship. I don't actually know if you're firing at this ship, but I don't think you are. No, you weren't. <laughs> However, I gotta know. I think you're in a pretty good spot to launch your torpedoes. If you wouldn't mind. Thank you. Now. Yeah, the other two could have done, but I don't think they would have had too much luck. Let's see if they see that coming.
Well, they're turning, so I probably have seen it coming. Nice. Flooding here. Oh, they, oh, maybe. Definite maybe. Oh, there you go. How about that? Nice work. Oh, less nice work. Too busy here. Uh, Doing other things. These ships are pretty battered, though. Oh, fuck. Don't do that. That's just rude. the Agano. Yeah. Sad. But uh, you look like you're in a spot of bother. Fuck you. Your heresy. Right. San Pablo destroyed. Those must be light cruisers. In that case, 981. Make for the transports, please. Get the UG deal with them. Beautiful. Beautiful shot. Find another compartment. Got him. Right, go help the destroyer. Oh. Don't think she needs help, actually. No, she doesn't. Took care of that handily. Okay, shame about the Agano. Um, not mine, but still a shame. 
and she did a really good job torpedoing that uh, that cruiser. Oh well, right. Let's have a look at Spain's economy. All right. Um, I think we did, in fact, do some damage. They're up to minus two point nine. Um, negative GDP growth, which is good. Um, but uh, yeah, we need to keep this keep this going down. We need to start getting the events where they have to sacrifice GDP because those really snowball. I still don't think any of the naval invasions are. I mean, Western Spain is the most vulnerable, but I'd still need two million tons, which, you know, if I maybe got every ship I had, I'd be... So, yeah, we've got five million tons total. If I put every capital ship possible right right there, maybe. But, uh, yeah, I'm not so sure. Anyway, uh, I'm going to end it here with some severe economic damage done to the Spanish and their fleet in tatters. And I'm going to say thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you again soon for some more... Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. Bye for now.